Hey everyone, it's that Josh here, and we're here with The Walking Dead. Sorry for the lack of uploads. I was going to upload one of these, and it was going to be a long episode, but I thought it was recording and it wasn't. So, <laughs> I was so mad when I found out it wasn't recording. That's what that first one was right here. But I'm just going to delete that and just do a new one because I want you guys to be able to see all of it. We're gonna do this over again. I'm ready for you guys to be able to watch this. If you guys hear anything, like little noises, it's just when I'm drinking. Because I'm. Um, because what? Because I'm thirsty. <laughs> mm. But yeah, we're actually gonna finally play The Walking Dead. I know I'm a little late, everyone played it, but. It's always fun to watch it because it's like watching a TV show. It starts. Let me make sure everything's set up like audio wise. Voices are fine. Yeah, what's some sound? I don't think it's that loud. Warning, I do get aggressive in these kind of games, so yeah. And I don't mean any of the bad stuff, because I've seen people play it, but I w wish I would have chose certain other choices that were, like, mean. But I'm not like that in real life, so... Let's watch and see what happens now. They're so quiet, like, talk. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. What's that supposed to mean? Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get to... I didn't do it. Not for me. Because guys in your position already said it enough? You're a douche. I know I murdered my wife, but it's none of your business. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. What do you think? <laughs> I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big messy trial like that. Even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. Strangling. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on the sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? Don't mention her. You want to know how I see it? <laughs> Not really. Not really. Well, too bad. It's my car. You might have the right to remain silent, but it don't mean I gotta be. Regardless, it could be you just married the wrong woman. I just said shut up, basically, he still talks. I'm not gonna talk to him. He's rude. I don't like him. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Snotting all over right where you're sitting. Okay, how about shut the hell up? Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not telling you he's got to stop. I want to do that. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and oh having exhausted all his options, he Shut starts up. crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Well, blabbermouth, 
Let me tell you something. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. I got another good one for oh you. Oh my god, shut this up. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious <laughs> if I do say so. This other time we... <laughs> I didn't want to say anything, I wanted him to die. And they're video game characters, so it's a chance to say that. <clears throat> At least it's quiet now. I'm just gonna take a nap. <laughs> Rising sunshine, little sunshine. Oh, shit. <laughs> Thirsty. Ah. Uh, fuck. My leg. Ooh, look around. Let's see what's here. Let's kick the window in. Need to drag myself out that window. Oh my god, then go out the window. I need to drag myself <laughs> out that window. <laughs> Come on! Oh no, my like I forgot his leg's broken. I think it's broken, or he's just really cut really bad. He's like, thank God, he's got, he would finally shut up. Walk. 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 Ooh. Shiny. I'm not gonna try to put that out with handcuffs. Officer? God damn. It's like, I know. He's finally dead. Like, it's so quiet. Officer? Now. God damn. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I was supposed to see what else he was saying. Rip. Okay. Like, he annoyed me when I first played it. Like, he would never Sh shut up. And Lee is just freaking clumsy altogether. He drops everything. Unlock that cuff. Unlock that cuff. Um, what that help? Get away from me. Get away from me. What in the hell? He's possessed by Satan. Get away from me! Where's my gun? Where's my gun? Where's my gun? Oh, not my gun, but grab it. Freaking idiot. Where are you? Like, I really want to slap Lee. Don't make me do this! I will do it. Puppy. Yeah. I feel like moving my shoe. I don't want blood on my shoe. The skin's all rotten and he smells like shit. What the hell is this? Are you dead? No, he's not hey! dead. Are you dead? Oh, I get up. I have 
Go get someone! There's been a shooting! Whatever, I just realized that was Clementine. Don't sit and she acts like she doesn't know us. Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, get up. Pisses me off how much she falls and does that shit. Oh, he wants the cuddles. They can break down all these big things, but they can't break down a wooden fence. I want them to climb over. Look, what's that? What's that? <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, Clemens had to pop out of her house, like, tree house, and be like, hello. hello. Anybody? I like that skyline view. Mm. I'm making my way downtown. I wonder if anybody's home. I wonder if anybody's home. I'm sorry, I think it's funny when they start repeating themselves. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. If you haven't looked at your surroundings, I don't think anyone's home. Hello? There's something going on. Open the door. I was like, crap, it's locked. Coming in! Don't shoot, okay? Sorry, but if they just had all these zombies, they're gonna shoot. Hello? Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. Yeah, because that's totally something an intruder would think. These people might need more help than I do. Yeah, you're complaining. This whole neighborhood is deserted. What the hell? God, that kid lived here. Maybe there's something on there. Maybe there's something on there. <laughs> Situ you. Imagine a situation where this stuff really happened. 
your daddy but I can be your daddy that's him thirsty <laughs> Tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come home. I'm not coming home. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. She just said that. They can't get in. <laughs> That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. <laughs> waves. Ah! <laughs> of course he has to. Me off, how much he falls. Give me the freaking hammer! Oh my god, come my time, give me the hammer. Okay, I think she was a monster. Uh, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. Uh -huh. I think that might be a little while. It might be you never. Know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. She's so cute. Come on, Clem. Let's go. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, man. I ain't never getting home to Mama at this rate. This sucks. <clears throat> it's hot dish night. I really don't want to help them. What's the matter? Should I stay? Or should Where? I go? I don't want to sleep <laughs> in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Honey, they're not. They won't. We should go. Then they'll find me, right? I will leave you alone, okay? He <laughs> avoided that question. 
They'll find me, right? But I won't leave you alone. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. That's racist. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the no, damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to Chet, your family's daughter. farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Lee, quick. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. I don't want to help. Gotcha. Come on, come on, come on, help. Get in. As babysitters go, I'd say your parents owe you a tip. I think so, too. Imagine the zombies follow it. Corn. Hey, Sean. I'm gonna run on home. My mom was gonna be in a snip. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. This place looks scary. 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 Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. Why does he have an accent when he doesn't? You've brought a couple guests. Or is it just his voice? We just need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome to stay here, Asshole. but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It's not too bad. Tough guy, huh? What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? I fell. Car accident. That's so... Where are you headed before the car accident? Nowhere. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. Yeah, I murdered my wife. I got a ride. 
House is full up with Prison. mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. Like you don't have a freaking you. couch? I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Teenage girl with her gut spilled out on the floor stood up from the dead and tried to bite me. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty really? of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. He's <laughs> an asshole. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I miss my mom and dad. I don't. I'm dead, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Walker just falls from the ceiling. I love you, baby. <laughs> and it kills her. Hey, get up. Mm. I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. Okay, calm down. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. I trust me, I believe you. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Where do parents name their kids Duck? We're from Fort Lauderdale. We were on our way back before things up and went bananas. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Maybe. We'll see how things shake out with this Herschel guy. <laughs> Good luck with that. He's a hard ass. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Shut up, Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those <laughs> things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. I don't want to talk to her. Hey there, girls. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people 
over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow. But even then, I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? This could all be providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. That's just a gift. Your optimism is refreshing. New. These past couple days, at least. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, um, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. It's easy. So, you good? She got the D on her head. Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. I don't like talking to everyone. <laughs> I don't want to talk to him either. We got to. Hey there, uh, Kenny. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's, but we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. That's not what your wife said. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? Maybe. What do you mean? I mean in taking Central care figures. of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe, sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. Oh my god. I'll keep that in mind. See Leave you. me alone. Analyzing me. Let's see where they're up to. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! You're an idiot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know he's just a little kid. Sean's still working on that fence. No shit. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. I never said. Like, I didn't mean it when I said, did you need help? My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta idiot, kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes... And pull the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? 
Oh. Uh. Yeah. Also, shoot. Um. Sometimes it's cute. Had to kill my you. wife. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. What can I say? How yours? Not very How's smart. your family? Well, whoever they are, wherever they are, I hope they're okay. Thanks. <laughs> I'm like, shut up. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Awkward. I told her to talk to him. Hey, Sean. Thanks again for the ride. Herp, derp. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. No, he just wants to bitch at me. Uh, he is an asshole. I do not like him at all. Hey, Clementine. I want to talk to her, not him. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. No, she never shuts the fuck up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm willing to just fine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't want to talk to him. What? How'd you get out of Atlanta? Her light on? Uh, on foot. I headed south and You just said you were in a car accident. That's a long walk. Yeah, this farm's a that. nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having oh, a place like this. Him, it was in the family, it. and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? No. Was brought up <laughs> to? Just kidding. Yes. Where's your family now? Dead. Parents? Wife, girlfriend. No wife anymore. No wife. Uh, not anymore. Uh, I think she's up in Virginia, maybe. Sorry to hear it. You're and now an you've asshole. got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? What are you getting at? Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Mind your own business. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. So whoever you are and whatever you did, keep it to your damn self. Oh, and trying to be less of an asshole would serve you just fine. Well, you don't be an asshole, no, be one. What the? Go! I'll get my gun! Good thing. Watching. Don't let her take me! I don't want to watch it happen. <laughs> I got you! They're almost through! Now, Sean! Get this tractor off of me! Please! Help me! Please!
Get the fuck out of here! Uh, sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! And you! You didn't even try to help! I was worried about the boy. Look at him. But you weren't worried about that. Please, just go. Get out and never come back. I'd be freaking drop dead. You asshole. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end the episode here. I know it's not that I know it's not that long of an episode, but I want to make sure that I get it uploaded and higher quality and everything. Plus I want it to be multiple episodes so it can last longer for you guys. So I will post part two of this episode probably in the next day or two. So keep out for that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and have an awesome day.